thought I was recording. I wasn't. I'm salty about it. But now I'm recording. And I just like to say that this is a disclaimer in this moment. If you don't love the products I love, that's okay. If you hate the products I love, that's okay. If you get mad because the product I hate is your favorite, that's ridiculous. We like what we like, we hate what we hate. Doesn't mean these things are terrible. It just means I didn't enjoy it or I loved it. Hey there good people, welcome. So in today's video, it is time once again to share with you the best and the worst of 2021 in the way of beauty. I'm sharing skincare, hair care, makeup uh, and with you guys what was great and what I would never ever ever purchase again. So let's start on a good note and let's start with beauty. And first and foremost in the makeup department, oh my gosh, Pat McGrath came through. Let me tell you, this Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation, I should have never gone expensive, guys. I should have never done it because <laughs> this is so good. Like, it looks so natural. It's no way cakey. And I think that's because the, the formula is so thin, uh, but it's not cakey at all. I can wear this every single day and my skin would just look flawless, but effortless. Like, it would look natural. It's good. It's way too good. If you're not ready to love it, don't buy it. Um, and for anyone who is going to ask, I wear medium deep 26. And then the concealers are amazing. You can see like, I'm getting through this one. <laughs> these ain't gonna be around much longer. I love these. I actually use both. I put one here and the other here and it comes out perfect on my skin covers the dark circles that have been there most of the year and <laughs> brightens at the same time. Um, these colors are 29 and 23. Love them. Love them. D29, MD23, D, medium, D, you know. The coverage is beautiful. This is a lot of coverage in these. These give a lot of coverage, but they blend out really easily, really well. It looks fairly natural. Most of the time, I'm not wearing foundation when I'm at work, like throughout the week, unless I'm going to an event. And I'm just wearing these concealers and they blend into the skin so well that no one can tell. Love these right here. Another favorite that I don't currently have, but I will by the time this video comes out, is the Oma Beauty Drama Bomb Mascara. Love it. It's so good. Uh, it has replaced my Damn Girl Mascara or my Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. It is just as good, if not a little better, because I don't get, like sometimes with the Too Faced, I get clumps. As it gets older, it starts to dry out more and more. And I don't mind my mascara drying out a little, but it gets to a point where it's like, okay, I gotta buy a new one and it hasn't been a full season yet, which I usually replace my mascaras by the season. Drama Bomb has been a little scarce this year, but I've chased it down because it is that good and I will not be without it. Love that I can support a black owned brand. So let's move on to hair. I have a few things. So if you remember at the bottom of 2020 as part of Vlogmas, I tried Olaplex number three. And I wasn't wholly impressed, but I wasn't unimpressed, right? I really needed more time with it. You could see that I've been using it and it is pretty low at this point. And this year I tried it with number zero and together they gave me all I need. This is a beautiful balancing treatment. It's an elasticity treatment. I talk about these all the time and they really do make the hair better. Um, Olaplex has a proprietary blend so it, I don't know everything about it, but together these work so beautifully in my hair. Number three by itself just didn't do enough for me to write home about, but together they are beautiful. And this was a find for sure, because I just have such a hard time finding really good balancing conditioners like these or like products like these elasticity treatments. And it hit the ball out of the ballpark. And it's definitely something that I would use after heat styling. It's something I would use after coloring or just once a month to maintain the hair. So definitely a find. And then another unexpected, but like really clutch find because of how I have been doing my hair this year is the Canvi Scalp Bliss Soothing Scalp Purifying Foam Treatment. So like I said, unintentionally really for most of the year, I've been going like two weeks between washes 
And though the, the directions say to like put on the phone, leave it on for five minutes and then rinse clean and condition as usual, I've been using this like as like a little clarifier <laughs> between washes. Um, I have also used it like on wash day and this really does like get the scalp a bit more clean. If you're the person who only likes to use like co-washes and things like that, but you still need to do a bit more clarifying of the scalp or if you want to exfoliate the scalp as regular routine, this is a good way to go. This is so nice. It's a foam. It's so easy to apply and it really does leave the scalp cleaner without making the hair feel bad. Um, it has um, salicylic acid and that's why it like, gets rid of the dead skin on the scalp. I don't like any of them little scrubs, those little scalp scrubs. They just, uh, I don't like them at all. But this is a good way to go. And this surprised me because I was not on the market for this. The brand reached out and sent this to me and then we did a, a video together. Um, and I'll link the video with the owner of Canby. She's black this, in the description box. But this was an unexpected find. It's really, if you were wearing a protective style, I could see how this could be super clutch as well wigs weaves braids this could be really clutch um i actually like it a lot better than anything from the talia yg protective styles collection that i reviewed years ago so don't sleep on this and then i have a few more things in hair um this is no surprise to anyone at least it shouldn't be if you've been on my channel this year eco slay jello shot this is actually empty by the way <laughs> i use this thing all the way up all the way up so good so good and i'm gonna get more once i run out of some of my other um gels but i love this what it does to the hair like it has so much hold so much hold but it's still gentle i can get so many days out of my hair with this now i do have to put something under this because it has a strong strong grip on the hair it doesn't have plasticizer but like it feels like it has plasticizers so if you want a really strong hold gel with more natural ingredients more natural here um it's vegan friendly it smells good. It doesn't have a bunch of scent. I love that it's unscented, black on brand. I mean, this is so good. I like. I can only leave the review to show you how good it ended up being. It surprised me. This is definitely my favorite gel that I discovered in 2021 and definitely one of my favorite gels of all time, but stay tuned because this really changed one of my staples. And then the last hair product and the last in the good list and the best list is the Audra Beauty Blue Tansy Clarifying Shampoo. This came in at the end of the year and just knocked it out of the park. This is a beautiful clarifying shampoo and it's hydrating and it feels like a moisturizing shampoo, but it clarifies. I just want to make that clear because I don't think I made that clear enough in the video. This clarifies. This can get rid of your silicones, your sulfates everything it's just gentle if you like kinky curly comb clean i would try this this is more hydrating than that so i would definitely try it this is beautiful it worked so well you get 14 fluid ounces you don't need a lot so it's gonna last you a long time i used this several weeks in a row and my hair was fine absolutely fine so this is one you could use week to week especially if you like your hair to feel cleaner um doesn't have any silicones doesn't have any sulfates it's a really elegant just beautiful formula it's a find it's, it's definitely one of those unicorn products in the whole natural hair arsenal community of things because people don't focus on the clarifiers in our brands they focus on the moisturizing cleansers this this is this is something special so i had to mention it in this video and then we get to the worst list and don't shoot me for any of these okay all my beauty had a lot of hits for me this year but the share and see stuff did not it was not it's not it this is the prime to glow skin perfecting illuminating primer and this is a level up batter boom mascara both of these are in walmart for like seven dollars so i'm not mad at it but they're just too basic right like these are your basic basic like if you got a teenager who's trying makeup i would definitely give them these because like they don't usually need much at all. This isn't gonna give you much, right? Um, this primer, I just use it as kind of like a moisturizing base. It doesn't really help the makeup stay on any longer. It doesn't really help with anything. It doesn't smooth, nothing. I'm just trying to use it because I bought it. And then the mascara is, it'll coat your lashes with color, basically. I have to make sure that I curl my lashes and then I put on several coats of this to give like volume or anything else because it's just going to give you some color, which for some people could be a great thing, right? If you have full lashes that curl, like you just add some color with this for seven bucks. Like don't spend any money on the more expensive stuff for people with struggle lashes like me. It's no point. 
But for people with struggle lashes or with actual skin issues that they need to use a good primer for and a good mascara, this ain't it. Like this don't work in that way for me. And then the last thing is a hair product that I just didn't enjoy. Um, I'm gonna use it, but I didn't enjoy it. And that's to do Fresh to Death Wash and Go Leave and Curl Refresher. Yeah, no, this doesn't do much at all for me. As a leave-in, it's okay. Like, it's not water, right? Like, it's doing something, but not enough, right? It's not giving me enough moisture. It's not giving me strength. As a refresher, I think it shines best, like, to just spray on the hair and give the hair a bit of moisture without um, having too much water or without weighing it down more. I mean, that works. I mean, this is leave-in curl refresher, but... It's really not doing much at all. It reminds me of that Obi a Natural spray that I didn't really love either. That was in last year's video. <laughs> I'm gonna use it up, but I definitely wouldn't buy it again and I wouldn't recommend it because it's just not doing enough of anything for me. Um, maybe if I had a different texture, I don't know, but it's like not giving me enough moisture to even say that. It just, I don't know, it kind of, it comes out creamy, right? And it feels like water with a bit of glycerin, um, which, that's just like what it feels like. It doesn't mean that's <laughs> what it is. It's not that um, at all. But uh, it smells really good. All the products in that collection smelled really good. And I did like the do new gels that came out. I'll link my video because there was definitely a learning curve with those. But um, I yeah, this was not a good use of my funds at all. <laughs> what can I say? So y'all know what I want to know. In the comments below, let me know your favorite and least favorite products that you used this year. I will link all the products that I love. I'm not gonna link the products I didn't love. I don't think that's fair to the brands. <laughs> Just cause I didn't love them doesn't mean you won't love them. I will also leave links to my speed reviews. So if you're new here, that is where I do product reviews at this point. I just do, I do them in like clumps and speed review videos. I don't necessarily do a lot of dedicated review videos and everything I've talked about here has a video, a review or a demo attached to it. So I'll link it in the description box below. I would say compared to last year, I had more duds um, in the way of beauty products, but the duds weren't as bad as my dud last year. So if you didn't see last year's video, I'll also link that below because yeah, yeah, I had no good things to say about the worst product of the year last year. Whereas these have some redeeming qualities. They're just not for me and my routines and, and what I do. So let me go because I don't want no brand to be salty at me just because I didn't like their products. <laughs> and if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe before you go so we can see each other in the next one. We Bye. are on our merry way Riding along just singing a song the snow bells are jingling snowflakes tingling Rudolph knows where to go on this cold December day I am piloting my